A Brief History of the Philosophy of Time by Adrian Barden presents an encompassing perspective on how the concept of time has been analyzed and understood across the history of Western philosophy. The book delves into the intricate relationship between time and a variety of philosophical inquiries, such as metaphysics, epistemology, ethics, and the philosophy of science, revealing how the notion of time is fundamental to our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Barden begins by addressing the ancient philosophical treatments of time, exploring early cosmological conceptions and the work of pre-Socratic philosophers, such as Heraclitus and Parmenides. Heraclitus posed that change is fundamental to the universe, evidenced by the flow of time, while Parmenides argued the opposite, fostering a timeless, unchangeable reality. Plato developed a theory of time in his dialogue Timaeus, where he distinguished between eternal, unchanging reality and the changing, sensible world, with time being an image of eternity. Aristotle, on the other hand, grounded time in change and motion, considering it a measure of change with respect to before and after. The book progresses to the Middle Ages, where Augustine's meditations on time played a significant role. In Confessions, Augustine pondered the nature of past, present, and future, grappling with the concept of God's timelessness and the apparent flow of time experienced by humans. He concluded that past and future only exist in the present mind's eye, the past in memory and the future in expectation. Barden then examines the early modern period, highlighting how thinkers like Newton and Leibniz diverged in their views. Newton advocated for an absolute conception of time, a uniform, independent flow, while Leibniz insisted that time was relational, depending upon events and the relationships between them. Additionally, the book details Kant's influential stance in the 18th century, wherein Kant proposed that time and space were forms of human intuition essential to our perception of phenomena, but not necessarily properties of things in themselves. The 19th and early 20th centuries brought advancements in science, influencing philosophical thought on time. Barden covers the philosophy of time in this period by focusing on how figures such as McTaggart and Bergson contributed philosophical arguments about the unreality of time and the importance of lived experience, respectively. McTaggart's argument for the unreality of time is based on what he views as the incoherence of any description of time that incorporates change while Bergson emphasized time as experienced duration, contrasting the scientific and experiential perspectives. But it was Einstein's theory of relativity that imposed a groundbreaking impact on conceptions of time. Barden clarifies how relativity disrupted the Newtonian notion of absolute time by demonstrating that measurements of time are relative to the observer's frame of reference. This scientific development generated debates in the philosophy of science regarding the nature of time, and Barden elucidates the positions of figures like Reichenbach and Putnam, who grappled with the implications of relativity for our understanding of time. Philosophical discussions of time have also been directly influenced by advances in thermodynamics and cosmology. The second law of thermodynamics introduces an asymmetry into the physical world, entropy, which seems to give a direction to time, often called the arrow of time. Philosophers like Reichenbach and Ehrman examine how this perception of an arrow of time might relate to the seemingly uniform flow of time given by physics. Barden goes further to assess the distinction between A-theory and B-theory of time. A-theorists believe in an objective moving present, which distinguishes between events that are past, present, and future, essentially maintaining that temporal flow is a fundamental aspect of reality. B-theorists, however, conceive of time without this moving present, arguing instead that all points in time are equally real, and that the perception of flow is an illusion or results from our perspective within time. In addition to exploring these theories, the book also addresses the role of time in existentialist philosophy, with a focus on the work of Heidegger, who considered human beings as beings toward death, for whom the phenomenon of time is intimately tied to their existence and consciousness. Human temporality, for such existentialists, is central to the meaning and structure of human experience. 
As the narrative comes to contemporary philosophy, Barton discusses recent philosophical work in the area concerned with the metaphysics of persistence through time, how entities endure or perdure. Theories of persistence often fall into two categories, endurantism and perdurantism. Endurantism is the idea that entities are wholly present at each moment of their existence, while perdurantism conceives of entities as having different temporal parts at different times. Finally, the book touches on the implications of the philosophy of time for practical spheres, such as ethics and politics. The concept of future-oriented responsibilities, the nature of historical change, and the implications of modern technologies on our experience of time all suggest that our philosophical understanding of time has multidimensional impacts on human life. By examining how the philosophy of time influences and is influenced by developments across different works of philosophy, science, and culture, Barden illustrates the complexity and centrality of time in our intellectual tradition. A Brief History of the Philosophy of Time is a compelling narrative that offers a detailed yet accessible examination of how our conceptualization of time has evolved and why it remains a subject of enduring philosophical interest and debate. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.